Hi everyone, this lesson is gonna be on inscribed angles and circles. Um, what is an inscribed angle? Well, you may be familiar with a central angle in a circle, where if you draw an angle from the arc to the center of the circle, you will get um, a angle that's gonna have the same measure as the arc. So let's say this arc was uh, 120 degrees. Well, then this angle here would also be 120 degrees. You can measure an arc in degrees or length. So just to clarify here, in this case, I'm measuring it in degrees. Now what's going on with this is um, when I take that angle and I extend it to the edge of the circle instead of the center, I have formed the sides of an angle that are chords, not a radius. And so if you think about that, you're going twice as far, that angle is going to get smaller. How much smaller? Well, it turns out it's going to be half of the degree measure. So that angle over there is going to be 60 degrees if this were 120. So the inscribed angle is always going to be um, one half the measure of the central angle. And by definition, it's always going to be half of the measure of the arc that the central angle opens up to. Um, here's a great visualization for you guys uh, to kind of see that relationship. Now, if I make that central angle change, um, you're going to see that inscribed angle will always be half of it. You know, take this 100 and uh, about 180 degree angle here. I don't know if it'll let me do 180, but we'll stay close to it. We know half of 180 is 90. And so there's your 89.9. And then if I do a like a 90 degree angle, then I should get about a 45 degree angle and so forth. But if I keep this central angle fixed and I move the inscribed angle, that's not gonna change. No matter where I bring it around the circle, it will always be half of the angle provided that it opens to the same arc the central angle opens up to. So just a great visualization. Let's look at a couple questions related to this. On um, this first example, we have a circle with a couple arcs drawn around it. And we wanna know in this problem, if we have this arc as 120, this is arc WX, and we have this other arc, XY, 156, what is the measure of angle WXY? Now it helps to draw the angle out. So I wanna take this angle and highlight it. And that middle letter will be your vertex. So we wanna know what that angle is. And that is an inscribed angle. So we can figure out this arc length and divide it by two. This is the arc we gotta find though. So to get that arc, you gotta think about all around the circle how many degrees total can we work with? That's going to be 360. So I'm going to take that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll call this uh, 120 plus 156. Add those together. And then I'm going to subtract that from 360 to get what that arc equals. So let's do that in the calculator. So I have 276 for the sum, and then I can do 360 minus that. And I'll get 84 degrees. So 84 degrees is gonna be the arc that the central angle opens toward. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 84 right there. And I'll also put 84 in the angle WAY in the center. Those are gonna be the same. Now to get the inscribed angle, we're gonna take half of that. So we can do 84 divided by two, and you'll get your inscribed angle, which is gonna be 42 degrees. So I know that the measure of angle WXY is 42 degrees. If you wanna pause the video, you can try example two, unpause it and I'll check it and go over it. Well, hopefully you got 43 as the answer. This one wasn't uh, as, as much work as the other one here. If you didn't get 43, follow along and we can watch how to do it. So in this problem here in circle O, angle o, AOB is going to be 86 degrees. Now, if you notice where that O is, that's in the center of the circle. So that 86 degrees by default will also be the arc degree measure here. Now, if I go trace the other angle that we want to find, we want to find this angle X over here. You notice it has a vertex of C that's on the circle. Well, that's the inscribed angle. It does open to that same arc, so that inscribed angle will be half of 86. So you'll just take that 86 again and divide by two to get 
to get 43, 43 degrees here. And it doesn't matter where I draw that. I can draw that 43 degrees anywhere as long as it uh, has the same endpoints of those chords that touch A and B as the other ones do. So these are all going to be 43, um, no matter how I draw. All right, thanks for watching. The next video will cover uh, different special angles in circles.